everybody. Hey, Ivan, how's it going? Uh, it's, everything's great. How about you, Patrick? I'm good. Is my audio okay? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. All right, I'm trying out this uh, desktop spaces for the first time. Oh, really? Do we have it as an option already? Yeah, it's available for me. Oh, great, I should try it out. Nice and on, by the way, Ivan. Yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm a fan. Where's yours, actually? I do have a few of those. Just haven't used them as a profile picture in a while. Uh, which one do you have from from the army for from the classic cannons? Yeah, at this point, I just have a few from the army. I used to have a classic one a long time ago, but at one point, I did decide to sell it. <laughs> I really like the art, so it's just uh, for me, it's not something that has a tangible value. Yeah. Yeah, I like the art from the second generation even more, actually. Yeah, me either. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome to Secret Spaces, everybody. This is a weekly Twitter space featuring news from around the secret ecosystem and different contributors. And today we have Ivan from Nolus Protocol. Nolus is a cross-chain DeFi lease protocol for the IBC ecosystem. And pretty soon they're going to be integrating Secret as a option for taking out a loan and I believe also for providing collateral, if I'm not mistaken. So we're just going to let Ivan basically walk us through what is NOLAS protocol, introduce it to our community, all the different things you can do with it. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the integration and the plans for that and maybe some future plans as well later down the road. So Ivan, we'll hand it over to you if you want to just go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, thank you, Patrick. So uh, in a couple of words, uh, I'm um, Ivan, one of the, uh, I'm the product development lead here at Nullis. I'm one of the co-founders and uh, I work closely with our development team uh, in order to get everything going and up, up to speed and to make sure that uh, we kind of follow our deadlines and our pipes uh, so that uh, the protocol continues uh, evolving in time. Cool. So what's the basic idea? It's it's called a DeFi lease protocol. One thing that strikes me differently um, is that it's, I guess most lending protocols don't use the word lease for whatever reason they use like the word lend. Is there some reason you guys specifically went with yeah. lease protocol? Yeah. Um, actually, uh, just to put the, the, uh, the short intro about uh, Nolus and the protocol, actually Nolus is a, a semi-permissioned, uh, it's a money market built on top of a semi-permissioned uh, blockchain utilizing the Cosmos SDK stack. So we are part of the IBC gang from, from the start. But uh, the protocol itself, the money market, is inspired from traditional lease where uh, one can receive uh, own, uh, not ownership, but one can obtain a tangible asset uh, by only paying a um, small amount of, of the cost up front. Uh, use this asset, uh, use the asset while his lease is ongoing and receive full ownership once he repays his, his lease. So, uh, if we transfer all that to crypto, uh, then we have the Nolus DeFi lease. The whole concept is that Nolus actually provides users the ability to uh, own three times more assets than their current equity or the, the, the amount that they are willing to invest in certain digital assets. Or just to the risk by three, by a factor of three, by buying only uh, uh, opening a lease position with only uh, one third of the amount that they're willing to invest in in, in, a, uh, in a digital asset. So this is why it's called a DeFi lease because it's actually transferred from uh, a traditional lease, from traditional finance, traditional leases, and it and works the same way as, um, I would say, as, as a lease uh, in, uh, in the real world. Got it. Okay. 
So walk us through why a user would want to use Nautilus protocol. Like what's the use case here? Someone wants to, let's just say somebody has some Atom. Uh, what can they do when they get to know us? What, what exactly does it allow them to do? Let's say, let's say that uh, for the sake of the example, Patrick has 10 atoms and he's long on Atom. He knows that the value in time will, uh, will uh, go on the up, just like, for example, if he, he buys a, a house on a lease or a car on a lease, he's actually longing his, his asset. Uh, the same principle applies with Nolos. Uh, he can use his uh, uh, 10 atoms and uh, do a lease position that will actually give him the opportunity to have uh, three times more. Uh, so in this example, uh, this will transfer to, uh, let me see if I can do the math correctly. Uh, this will transfer to something like almost 30 atoms when he opens his lease position. Um, the 10 atoms will be used as uh, a down payment or, or uh, the amount that needs to be paid up front you know, for his lease position to be open. While the lease position is active, uh, both the down payment and, and uh, the amount that he has borrowed from Nolus to, to uh, get the, the, initial, the, the, uh, the lease, uh, uh, will be parked in a smart contract. And once he repays his loan, uh, the assets will be released back to him. Uh, but the thing that actually Patrick will do with, uh, with, opening a lease, with opening his DeFi lease, he will actually lock the price for, uh, for, uh, for his Adam position at the level that he has opened it. For example, let's say that when Patrick opens his lease, uh, the price of one atom is uh, $10. So the whole lease position will, will be locked at, uh, at the price of $10. In other words, Pat doing, Patrick doing a lease, he will uh, own uh, uh, three times more than, than, almost three times more than his 10 atoms meaning 30 atoms, and those 30 atoms will, will be locked at that price of $10. If the price of Adam appreciates in time, he can uh, close his position, liquidate it, and uh, collect his, uh, his spread between uh, the current market price of Adam and the, the price he has opened his position. Got it. So I deposit 10 atom that I own, and then I get access to 30 atom that I can make use of. Yes, that's correct. And do, does the user actually get 30 atom in their wallet that they can just send to any application within the IBC ecosystem? Or is that, are those 30 atom basically usable within the NOLIS protocol application only? Um, Actually, uh, while the lease position is open, uh, the user cannot uh, withdraw those assets prior of prior to repaying his debt to the system. Yeah. Okay. So, but the, the there are... but the, the the thing here is that there are real there is a real underlying asset in every lease position, and uh, uh, what we are trying to achieve in midterm is to give uh, access to some whitelisted. Uh, strategies to, to users so they can uh, use those assets uh, assets in a certain manners. For example, let's say they can deposit them on on some other lending protocols and earn yield on, on them or just use them on, uh, vault, on vault protocols where they can, again, uh, get more out of, of, out of their assets. Got it. Okay, yeah. So Nolus provides these different strategies and that's what allows the users to actually make use of those uh, assets. They, they make use of it within the Nullis protocol itself. Yes, that's correct. And these vaults that you mentioned, are these like, are these applications around the IBC ecosystem that Nullis has, you said whitelisted, so I guess you've pre-approved these strategies and Yes, the, the, they could the, potentially exist on other IBC chains. Exactly, either. exactly. That's the point. The, the whole design of of Nolus is to be uh, is to be uh, IBC enabled from day one. Uh, the actually the uh, 
the assets that the system needs are uh, are the system is uh, tightly connected with with uh, different DEXs and sources its liquidity from from the DEXs. So, for example, when you open a list position under the hood, a swap rule will be executed on, let's say, for example, Osmosis or Shade on on new name one. Um, and the whole idea here is to to uh, integrate with different IBC protocols that provide a sort of a, a, a yield bearing strategies, and those yield bearing strategies will be introduced to uh, will be introduced to uh, to the people that are leasing. Awesome! Yeah, that's cool. So theoretically, I guess in the future, maybe a user would be able to deposit assets and use a vault that might have something to do with trade protocol. And then those assets on Nolus would cross chain be used in trade protocol and be providing some yield from shade itself. And that would go back to Nolus. Yeah, that's, that, that's the point. So the, the main idea here, um, the reason that we're having this space in the first place is because Nolus is going to be integrating the secret token soon. Uh, I wonder where are you guys at right now with the protocol? How many different tokens are currently available on there? I think currently we support more than more than 10, uh, 10 tokens that are native to the Cosmos ecosystem. And uh, uh, the secret token will be made available in not more than two days. We have an ongoing proposal, uh, on-chain proposal that will uh, upgrade the version of, of, of the smart contract sets, of, of the protocol smart contract sets to the latest, which will enable us to list the uh, secret uh, as well. So uh, follow our uh, Telegram announcements we should be live in less than two days. Awesome. And that will allow users to both deposit secret as collateral and also take out a lease of secret if um, they want to do that? Only to take out a lease because uh, actually okay, in okay. terms of deposits, uh, the only uh, liquidity that uh, Nolus needs uh, in order to fully operate is stable coins. Uh, currently only support AXA or USDC. Uh, but the, the plan is to uh, create more uh, LPs that uh, that that will support different different types of stable coins. For example, Silk, IST, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that would be awesome to eventually accept Silk for collateral. Yeah. I'm sure Shade would be interested in discussing that. Looking forward to it as well. Awesome. So, what can um, what kind of vaults do you guys currently have? available um we're currently um our our focus currently in terms of development is to scale the system to uh, uh, get as much traction in terms of integrating uh, as much access as possible uh so we yep. haven't integrated any any votes any vote strategies uh, for the time being we only support uh, uh, uh liquid staking derivatives which actually kind of create a, a interesting yield for for users because, for example, if one let's say uh, leases a ST ST atom, uh, his token will actually uh, will gain in value uh, with roughly around twenty percent per annum uh, because uh, the the ST atom. Uh, token derivative token uh, uh, collects reward in the background and it's uh, getting uh, I would say uh, m more m more expensive compared to 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 the native token that it's back to. Yep, that makes sense. So, what kinds of roadmap are you guys looking at for the next steps? Uh, we're we're currently working on expanding the our set of uh, smart contracts so we can support multiple DEXs. For the time being, we are only integrated with Osmosis, but um, in hopefully in a couple of months we'll be able to uh, onboard quite easy more than uh, more than one more than Osmosis, and we're looking to to get connected with uh, the most prominent. Uh, 
DEXs in the ecosystem. And we are also looking to expand uh, the NOS protocol offering outside of Cosmos as well, where we are currently um, um, researching on what technology can we use because we actually think that IBC is uh, probably the, the best way to go forward uh, with this. Uh, and uh, we, we want to expand to EVM chains uh, utilizing IBC as well. So. This is something that it's on our roadmap for the next couple of months. Awesome. That's definitely in line with what we're thinking as well. Um, and there's a lot of different ecosystems that are being connected to IBC these days, more than just the you know Cosmos SDK chains. Composable is connected yeah. to the Polkadot ecosystem, and there's a few different teams that are working on connecting IBC to Ethereum right now and other EVM chains. So. Yeah, I could definitely see potential for you guys to, you could even use the IBC protocol and still go out to other ecosystems and maybe have vault strategies on like a EVM chain or have collateral coming in from EVM chains. Yeah, well, actually we are utilizing interchain accounts uh, as a as a technological stack, which which means that we can open an account in on every uh, connected network. And meaning that at some point when a user, let's say, for example, uh, wants to create a list position from, from the secret network, the tokens, his tokens um, being on the secret network may not leave, need, necessarily need to leave uh, uh, the secret network itself for, for him to create a list position because uh, the whole concept is to Nolosis to for for Nolosis to be kind of a, only the uh, the moderator, meaning that all uh, all communication with the smart contracts that are on the Nolos blockchain will be only uh, passing general messages uh, back and forward with the connected networks, and uh, the liquidity can can be maintained on 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 the host network for in, in this example uh, secret. That's awesome. Well, is there anything else we haven't already discussed that you would like to tell us about in this protocol? Oh, I think uh, this, this this is our focus for for the time being. We are uh, we are definitely looking to to scale as fast as possible in order to gain more traction in terms of uh, more assets to be available uh, for for leasing, and to have more I would say deeper liquidity in terms of uh, different assets because this is something that. Currently, the whole Cosmos ecosystem is uh, suffering from. So, this is our uh, yep. goal in the in mid. If you look at it midterm, however, on the long long run, we do wanna uh, offer the, the the protocol to to the whole crypto community. Awesome. Well, if there's anybody in the audience that has any questions for Nolus Protocol, feel free to raise your hand, and we'll bring you up. Were you guys at uh, Cosmoverse this past couple of weeks? Yes, part, part of the team were. I'm seeing uh, Nana and uh, May uh, in, in, here in the audience. They were there. I personally didn't attend because I left uh, back home to work with, uh, with our dev team. Gotcha. Yeah, I wasn't able to be there either, but we did have a few people on the ground there. Sounds like it went pretty well. Yeah, everybody said it, it was quite amazing in terms of experience and uh, it was packed with people, which is great. Looks like we have somebody that has a question, Crypto Guru. Hey, hey, hey Ivan, how are you? Um, can you guys hear him? Uh, loud and clear. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, just used to be a trader a long time ago. I don't have time anymore. Um, so as I understand it, you can probably kind it's kind of a leverage so you do a 3x leverage on nolus um why should i come to nolus protocol yes i understand because the assets never leave they are in smart contract um why should i do a 3x leverage when i can do 50x on maxi on adam and actually profit 50 times more than profiting three times more so just just wondering uh, your thoughts on that process uh, yep. thank you yeah thank you for the question it's 
actually quite good. First, if you do a 50x leverage, uh, what's your liquidation risk? Uh, with Nullus, you actually get a much lower liquidation risk compared to any other competitor, competitor on the market because the system is designed to do uh, partial liquidations prior to fully liquid, liquidating, liquidating a certain asset which makes it quite unique in terms of, uh, in terms of product, product offering. Uh, on the other spectrum, um, when you do, a, let's say, a perpetual long uh, contract on Maxi, you actually don't own the underlying asset in your perpetual contracts. Whereas in Nullus, you, in time, you will have access to, to those assets and uh, get the most out of them. For example, like I mentioned earlier, uh, if uh, Nolus lands uh, with a full integration with Shade, you will be able to lend your um, leveraged yield tokens with uh, with Shade protocol and get some extra APYs from uh, from being a lender on on Shade. Okay, so uh, I think uh, that that's that's a good response. Um, again, I don't know. How do you attract degens? <laughs> Most of these uh, exchanges, uh, they, they literally, yeah, liquidation risk. I, I get it, um, but how, how do you, <laughs> well, how do you attract degens? So that's that's another uh, thing to think of. Um, yeah, it's it's. I, I don't know. Uh, I think um, it's important because uh, we we do need to cater uh, to to our audience. Which which is degening on things if if they see it as as a safe leverage, um, they might not uh, come and it's very cosmos specific as well. So um, I had another question, but it's, it's escaping me. Um, yeah. uh, but but if it comes, I'll, I'll I'll let you know. I do agree with you on that that there's a certain UX aspects uh, that is related with cosmos uh, uh, with the cosmos ecosystem that need to be resolved result in order for for the cosmos ecosystem to to grow and to grow rapidly however i am not sure that uh, this is my personal opinion of course um that uh, djs that do 50 leverage on uh, centralized exchanges uh, at some point will transfer to uh, to DeFi or not in the in its current state uh, because they already have the tools and uh, all they need in order to to trade at high uh, leverage uh, high leverage products, uh, I think Nolus uh, Nolus is focusing is on a little different audience. I mean, the, the whole concept of Nolus is when you feel that the time is right to do your investment, but you don't want to take the full risk. However, you want to get an enough exposure for a certain asset. You just do a DeFi lease with, with Nullus and you set it and forget it. The other USP that Nullus has uh, and it differs from, from, uh, from I would say, uh, traditional uh, leverage instruments is that once a DeFi lease position is opened, um, the, the cost, the annual cost per, or percentage rate that uh, the user needs to pay uh, in interest is fixed throughout the whole DeFi list uh, term. For okay. example, okay. Yeah. For, for just for the sake, just, just to, to outline an example, currently uh, the percentage APR is around 40, 14, 14 and a half. Uh, and uh, in 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 certain aspects, when when you do a perpetual on uh, and on on uh, centralized exchanges, uh, it may go to forty percent, and I think uh, the the base is some somewhere around sixteen to twenty percent. Okay, yeah. So uh, I get all of that. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. The another issue I think in the architecture here is. Um, I was actually really so the reason obviously I'm providing an earn, so I'm a heavy user of Nolus protocol, but I haven't opened the lease because I'm actually bearish on Adam <laughs> as we speak. So I might open a lease on AKD, but but maybe not on, on, on Adam. So are there any plans for people to profit from things going down rather than up? 
I want to set the expectations here, but yeah, we are thinking on it, and um, it will be uh, it will be enabled at some some point. But okay, so yeah, yeah, it's so, not okay. in our it's, it's it's not in our pipeline currently. Right. Okay. Now again, uh, coming. Uh, this is just a DGM speaking, so don't take me seriously. Yeah. But uh, I, sure. when, whenever I see these things, I'm like, how can I profit? And when when Nolas launched, I was uh, super super bearish uh, on it. I'm, I'm still am. Uh, I'm, I'm, so uh, for me, opening a lease will make sense when I feel that the bottom has set in. Um, I don't know. Adam to economics at the moment is is <laughs> pretty bad, and I think Adam is probably the most uh, used uh, open lease position on Nolas uh, probably. Um, so yeah, so I would love to see uh, a shorting functionality. Uh, down the line whenever it is av- available there is one last thing i want to say i'm so sorry i'm taking so much time um if you allow me patrick yeah go ahead no worries um most of the DeFi protocols uh they they not only incentivize borrowers um sorry not only incentivize lenders they incentivize borrowers as well that's another design architecture i think again i'm going to talk by the way this is tsy from Telegram and, and Discord, I'm, I'm <laughs> in the community. Uh, if, if, if you're wondering who this guy is speaking nonstop. Um, yeah, so, so I think one thing I again feel like there is a design uh, issue, maybe, maybe you can challenge me on that, mm-hmm. is that the lenders are making buck, whereas borrowers are left to their uh, to, to, to outside in wind, rain, sleet, especially ones who have opened Adam positions um most of the DeFi protocols at least i play with they they do incentivize uh borrowers more than lenders so just a quick word on that and i'm going to talk to bisme tomorrow about my some of my ideas where, where i think uh, i can contribute in terms of helping uh, that aspect so yeah quick word on that and that's me thanks yeah well uh the, the protocol has a has a an in- dedicated incentivization pool that currently only incentivize lenders that's correct and the reason being is it needs to bootstrap enough liquidity in stable coins for it to operate up in an optimal level however this incentivization pool can be uh, can be swapped let's say to incentivize uh, leasers as well uh, with a with just a governance proposal passing so it's it's that it is is that it is um, for the time being, I don't see a reason why uh, leasers needs to be incentivized uh, because first, um, you actually, with, with Nolas, you get three times of your exposure, uh, up to three times of your, of, 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 of your exposure of a certain asset. And on top of that, currently, there's an offer that it's... Uh, uh, ongoing till the end of November, where one could lease with a zero percent uh, interest. Uh, I would like to disagree with you, even uh, on this point, with respect and with humbleness. I think if you incentivize borrowers, that will actually incentivize lenders as well, because more stable coins will be needed. So people will actually start uh, depositing more stable coins but that's fine i think we can continue this in discord uh thanks thank you thank you for the suggestions thanks crypto guru some good questions some difficult questions <laughs> he wants dj <DGen> mode <laughs> yeah if anybody else has any questions feel free to raise your hand and we'll bring you up One thing you guys mentioned there was the user experience. Ivan, I wondered if you guys had considered um, using the MetaMask snaps that have been developed lately by Leap and Mystic Labs. Yeah, we actually have it in, uh, 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 we played around with it on our uh, test environments, but uh, we we don't feel that uh, it's, uh, it's, it has enough, I would say, uh, features so that it can be implemented for, for production uh, at, at the production scale. 
it's just too early, uh, not because uh, the teams didn't do great jobs of creating their snaps. However, it's early in terms of what snaps offer from from MetaMask, MetaMask standpoint. Yeah, but yeah, that really makes sense. Yeah. Looking forward to to integrate integrating MetaMask to our Cosmos chains. Uh, we still have the code on on one of our. Um, testing environments we're uh, constantly uh, pushing updates when when those when we have uh, from from metamask perspective and uh, we're just evaluating uh, on each new release yeah shade protocol on secret recently did their own integration of metamask that doesn't require snaps at all um, it, it makes use of Axelar for bridging and basically allows users to, if, if they have nothing but a MetaMask wallet and some Ethereum in it, they can connect to the Shade Protocol app and bridge that Ethereum over to Secret and mm. use Shade Protocol. It's only MetaMask. There's no Kepler wallet required or any other kind of Cosmos enabled wallet. So pretty cool. Definitely something yeah, you is. guys could probably make yeah. use of. Yeah, I, I've already played around with it shortly after it, it was announced, and it's it's great in terms of user experience. Well, we appreciate you coming on here, and we're looking forward to this integration going live. Um, I think you said that's going to be happening tomorrow. Is the plan? Uh, let me double check. Uh, just give or me two a days from now, maybe you said. Two days from now, but. Let me double check how was the voting period. It should end on the 19th of October. So okay. So Wednesday. Summer, Wednesday, yes. Got it. Okay. Well, everybody be looking forward to that. We'll definitely put out an announcement as soon as that goes live and you can start using Secret on their application. If there's any other questions, I'll do one last request for questions from the audience. If anybody has any Last minute thoughts, feel free to raise your hand and we'll bring you up on stage. If not, Ivan, we appreciate you being here with us and looking forward to working with you more in the future. Thank you for having us, Patrick. Uh, it, it, it was a real pleasure. Oh, I forgot to mention also, we will actually be on a space with you guys, I think, next week. Is the plan? Yep. I think that's the plan. All right. Looking forward to that then. So do we have a day for that yet next week? I think we may still need to decide the exact date. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, we need to decide the, the exact date. <laughs> All right. We'll put out an announcement soon about that then yeah. when we have the date. So sounds good. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for coming to Secret Spaces. Hope everybody has a great week. And we'll be back here next Tuesday at 4 p.m. UTC, our usual time. Until then, take it easy. Have a good one. Hi, guys. Thanks for having us one more time. Bye.